Well, folks, here we are. It's the last day of spring turkey season. It's about 11.30 probably. 11 o'clock, 11.30, something like that. We're on our 400-acre farm. We just walked in. We've not tried to make any calls yet up here. Um, it's a beautiful day. We're going to hunt till 1 and try to see if we can't get something. It's been a tough year. They've not been gobbling a lot. They've been hinned up. But uh, we, we decided to come in later this morning. They were gobbling on this farm around 10, 10 to 1. They were gobbling pretty good. Done with the hens for the day. So we're going to make some calls and see what we can't, uh, see what we can't make happen. So we got JW running the camera today. So we'd like to get one laid down. We'll see if we can't hear something get set up and maybe get a late uh, late season, last minute bird here. Stay tuned. You think they're done gobbling? Apparently. Do you hear that deer or something back here sneeze? <clears throat> I think. I think they'll wear me out. Uh, nothing. Nada. Uh, I don't know what to do, man. It's after 11 now, so. And it's quarter to 12. Quarter to 12, so. There's not really much you can do by the time you get out of this spot and try to get into another spot. It just is what it is. Season's come and gone, and. Oh well. Deer season's right around the corner, man. So we got two birds on the video. Well, uh, we did plenty of hunting here this year to know kind of the terrain here. It's our new property we got last year late, so we couldn't scout it real well. Now we scout it, scout it now pretty well. So we'll have a tree stand somewhere on this end. Uh, and then there's a tree stand further out the ridge, and then we got some property on the other side in, in uh, another state, state of Virginia over there. And uh, there was a buck big buck killed uh, up in the Virginia side. Uh, he was at 150 inches. They showed a picture. He was a 10 point. He was a nice 10 point wide. Uh, real nice 10 point. So anyway, that's that. We're going to get ready to uh, walk slowly and quietly back to the trucks if we can or something gobbling somewhere and move on. Here we come fall, fall deer season. What do you think, Sid I think it's hot. It's at least what, 80s? Yeah, I'll tell you in a minute. 77 degrees. Yeah. You didn't bend your finger enough, so it's probably right about 80. Well, that's what makes it. The well, let's see what the uh, truck says. I'm going to say it's probably. 81. Talking about the sweat, you either have a shape or it is hot water too. Well, it's not right yet. That is correct. It's this is not, not right. right. Anyway, 12.08, we're exiting the turkey woods, 
that I would want to say we're calling it a day. Pretty much, unless we see one that waving his wing like, yeah, come on back, get me. Yeah, on our property. Yeah, oh yeah, on our property. We're running the air conditioner, guaranteed. Well, what's your take from the... My take? That's why it's called hunting. What's your take on the year? The year? I'm, I'm happy. Uh, the first day it was raining. We went out about, about 10 o'clock and didn't see anything. And the second morning, went down to the farm and got in the blind, Luke and I. And we heard like five different gobblers. I thought, wow. And uh, we knew they were there, but you just need to get them gobbling to get that blood flowing. So anyway, um, three or four of them were gobbling behind us. And about 6.15, Luke was panning the camera to get some B-roll and ended up walking <laughs> <laughs> putting it right on a turkey come up to our left from behind us and I had my recurve bow in my hand and um, it was just behind the brush instead of on this side of the brush where the decoys were it was on the other side which made me believe that he was not the dominant bird that he was afraid he's gonna get his hiney kicked if he went and messed with the ladies there. So he stayed out of bow range and we ended up, uh, I told Luke, give me the camera. And I laid my bow down and he gave me the camera and he picked up the shotgun then and uh, we harvest, he harvested that bird. Uh, Cause he has to, you know, only had Monday off, Monday and Tuesday off there. And uh, then he had to go back to work so I went ahead and wanted him to shoot that bird. And John Boy uh, got one here, I think, this past week. Yeah. And uh, the last week here, he got uh, a nice one. I did have uh, another episode where we were set up. Luke and I were set up on a Saturday, last Saturday, matter of fact. We come down late because we... we wanted to give the gobblers a chance to get finished with the hens and then uh, come looking and it ended up we spotted a gobbler and a hen out in the field so we circled around the other end of the farm and walked across to where he was and set up and started calling and we thought it was a uh, what do you call that uh, a definite <laughs> but it ended up I had the gun shotgun pointed straight out to the logging road where I thought he would come around the field and come out but uh, the rascal come over top of about a 10 or 15 foot high pile of logs that was pushed up against the, the wood edge where the farmer cleaned out the logging the field edge there and he come in there and he come within 10 feet of me to my right and I couldn't spin because there was a little sapling to the right of me <laughs> so and that's all on video for you too all right that's um my wrap up there son how about you well my year stank <laughs> yeah i only this is my third time this whole year <laughs> told dad i said man i said i can't believe i didn't hunt much it's my third time for the year and he says whose fault's that yours but uh, been busy working, and uh, so anyway, the first day out, we saw those birds in the field. We have a little clip of it, strut him strutting. I don't know if it's out yet or if it's going to be out later. But uh, he was out in the field and he gobbled a couple times, and then here he comes down the field edge. What about 90 yards, 100 yards? Comes out, struts, and then he just struts and gets into a half strut and walks back up the finger and doesn't gobble anymore. Um, 
that was the first time you went? It was the first time I was out all year, so yeah, I was that thinking. That wasn't the first day of season. That was no, that was the first time that I went, which right. was third week. I don't know why it turned. Just turned around and walked back. It didn't spook because it was out in the field when we left. We looked out in the field, and there he was with the hens. There was some hens up there, but he broke away to come that far, but he didn't come any further. He was worried about who's in there to kick my tail. Yeah. I don't know because he, he wasn't spooked, that's for sure. But then uh, the second time out, I don't even think we heard anything, did we? Uh, Me, you, and John Boy went out. No, uh, that's right. We didn't hear anything. And then I thought for sure today, man, was a beauty. When I woke up this morning, we made the decision to come down here late because this farm that, that we're hunting, they, uh, there's a lot of hens. So all year this year, they've been gobbling a lot more around 10 to 1 and nothing. It's like they went down to the produce store, went into these, the, uh, the uh, veggie department, and... Uh, took the big rubber bands off the cauliflower heads put them, around put them right on the beak yeah nothing and funny thing is John heard uh, I mean you, you can't be for sure on it but he says he heard enough to hear like 10 different birds that was uh, second morning that was the second morning when he went now I think that was before season like the week before he was going oh, by yeah. and he went up to listen to see what was on the farm but anyway what are you talking about john let's go back to that quick that boy's a successful turkey hunter he, he gets them in and kills them yeah oh yeah um, sure does it was a weird year they just some years they just don't gobble i don't know what that's about well and that was this year it's been a um it's like they got we had ear muffs in on or something just nothing very very sparse and it's a big enough area you should hear at one turkey at least yeah. shock gobble in there while you're in there or something <coughs> we were in there at one time um for season and calling coyotes and what did we have in that cornfield a dozen yeah we were up there in rifle season for deer and probably eight or ten gobblers in a, yeah. in a flock came up through yelping and flew yeah. up in trees yeah big gobblers so I think personally it's a pinch late when it gets in um, season because we always hear them in the beginning and then about two weeks in you, you'll hear them on the roost and then they're, they're not really into it anymore. Yeah, well, here in West Virginia I'd like to, I think I'm going to propose at the DNR meeting that they uh, uh, open season all day long Yeah, like you do down south. You kill a lot more nice birds late well, in the day. Yeah, well, the what it is, the dedicated hunters have the opportunity to get out there more. It doesn't mean everybody's going to be out there, just the ones who are... It's only dedicated. the dedicated ones and the ones that really love to hunt. Yeah. Uh, will be out there. But... <laughs> That's right. But people like me would be able to hunt because I could get my work done in the morning I work for myself could do my work in the morning and go out in the afternoon at lunchtime if I'm near the area and set up for an hour and a half or so on a turkey now this might sound strange but as far as I'm concerned I get just as big a thrill of video on a turkey hunt as I do shoot pulling the trigger or, or releasing the string on one yeah I think when you and I go out we argue I say you're shooting, you say no, I'm shooting, right? Right, I say, he, I'm here, Dad, you shoot, give me the camera. No, you shoot. No, you can shoot. I just enjoy being out, even in deer season, seeing God's creation. Yeah. The birds, the squirrels, the camaraderie. Uh, fellowship, too. Yeah, a little fellowship, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's just, just fun, man. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and stop this video. I said, well, here's our, here's JW till next spring. Stevens Family Outdoors, folks. Look it up on YouTube. There it is, folks. It just dropped just as I turned the camera from 81. Oh. 77 degrees? Well, it was 81. It was yesterday, yeah. so that's like your turkey stories always changing. Hey, anyway, all right, man.
peace out.